Geometry 8-5, angles of elevation and depression. So um, let's go ahead and look, what is, what is angles of elevation and depression? So we're gonna draw a little guy down here. And he's looking over here like this. And then here's a guy on a box up here. And here he is, he's up here, he's on this box, standing here like that. And he's looking over here. Okay, now, <clears throat> let's say, so they're both looking off horizontally right there, right? Now, if they were to look at one another, this is called the line of sight. Now, if they're both looking off horizontally, those two lines there um, would be parallel to one another. Now, when they start looking at each other, this line of sight, this angle here is the angle of depression. And this angle, angle here, angle, this angle here is the angle of elevation. Now notice, if I have two parallel lines, and I have a, um, a line that goes through both of those, then um, in between here, the opposite interior angles of these guys is congruent. So um, the angle of depression and the angle of elevation are going to be the same. So we're not really going to deal with them separately. We're going to just deal with them together because they are the same thing. So um, or we're going to say angle of elevation, or are we? We're just going to do some examples. Let's, let's just make it happen. OK, so um, I've got a little guy here, another little guy. And um, he is um, on the ground. He is up to his eyeballs here is 5.5 feet. And he is looking at this castle that's far away, that is X feet away. And this castle is in the distance. And the way I'm drawing a castle is I'm drawing like two tall rectangles and then one that I connect them both in the middle. And then I just go like this as like, you know, the place where the archers sit. And then also we need like a couple windows and the drawbridge and stuff. Castle Grayskull. So this guy is X distance away from this castle. The castle is 190 feet tall. So this is not to scale, obviously. And the angle from um, that this guy is looking at from uh, the horizontal to the top, this angle is 38 degrees. So this is a 90 degree angle here. And this would be the hypotenuse here. I want to know what is x equal? How far is he away? from this um, castle. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I know um, I might redraw this triangle. That might make it easier. What, what if I redraw this triangle with the information in it that we know and not all of this other castle and all this other stuff. But this is what it's going to look like on the homework. And in real life, I have actually had a job with a buddy of mine, we went down and measured trees using a method very similar to what this method is. I actually got paid. I, I made money doing this. So this isn't just some weird math homework book thing. This is actually real life stuff. So anyway, here we go. Um, 38 degrees, X, H. Now, um, 
I know I can I can find out this um, measurement here, and that's the whole castle is 190 feet, and my guy is 5.5 feet. And so if I just subtract those from one another, then I'll get this distance here. So 190 minus 5.5 is um, 184.5. So this is 184.5. So pay attention to that kind of stuff. You'll see that on the homework quite a bit. So now I have um, this angle. I have this opposite side. This is 90 degrees. But I need to know the adjacent side. So the adjacent side is the one next to the angle that's not the hypotenuse. So I opposite and adjacent. So remember, so ka to -a, opposite and adjacent. Opposite adjacent. So I want tangent, opposite and adjacent. So tangent of 38 degrees equals opposite 184.5 over adjacent, which is x. Use my fancy algebra here to switch x and tangent. 38 degrees. And if I plug all of this stuff into my calculator, I get x is approximately 236.15. <clears throat> Let's do another example. This time I have a kind of um, ellipse kind of shape. And then I um, draw these two little guys out here and I uh, have a circle and then I have another ellipse on the top and I kind of do little X's inside there. And all of a sudden I have a helicopter. And this helicopter is flying over water. And there's this guy over here, ah, saying help. And the helicopter is way over here. And um, this is 48 degrees. And the helicopter is 18 feet from the um, surface of the water. How much um, horizontal distance, how far is the um, helicopter horizontally from this poor, poor swimmer? Um, also, I want to know, so I want to know the horizontal distance. I also want to know the angle of elevation. Which would be the same as the angle of depression. So um, let's look at the angle of elevation first. So. If I were to again draw this horizontal line from these two people, this is my angle of depression. This is my angle of elevation. Either way, it's going to be the same. So how do I find this angle of elevation? This is 90 degrees here. This is 90 degrees here. Um, so what I do is I say eight, uh, 90 minus 48 is going to get me this, because these are um, Oh man, I've lost all my words. These, if I add these two together, it's 90 degrees, complementary. So 90 minus 42 is 48 degrees. So my angle of elevation is 48 degrees. All right. Now my horizontal distance, here to here, that's what I want to find. I'm going to call that x because because um, I feel like it, and that's what we usually do. So um, I've got this angle here. And I have the adjacent side, and the opposite side is what I want to find out. I don't know what the hypotenuse is, so I'm going to ignore it. But I've got opposite and adjacent, so I'm going to use tangent again. Tangent of 48 equals the opposite, which is x, over adjacent, which is 18. So now I'm going to multiply both sides by 18 to get 18 out of there. And then I just uh, put this into my calculator. When I do that, tangent of 48, click the button, then multiply that by 18, 
I get x is approximately 20 feet. So the horizontal distance, approximately 20 feet. Okay, so I've got my answers there. All right, is it time for a U try and done? Yes, it is a time for a U try and done. Okay, U try. All right, when I was in high school, I was a lifeguard. So here I am with my uh, hat on and my cool shades. And then I would stand on the pool deck with my um, tank top on. And I didn't want to get in the water when I taught aqua aerobics because that was something that if you were um, a lifeguard at a certain time of day, you had to teach aqua aerobics. So um, here I am waving my hands to do aqua aerobics. Here I am at the edge of the pool. And then here's the pool. Here is the lady who is doing aqua aerobics and wanting me to get in the water so bad that she's yelling, I'm drowning, help me, help me, get in the water. And um, I'm saying, no, I don't really feel like it. And so here we have um, her angle is to right here. Her, and then we, if we are looking at each other, it's like that. And then we've got 90 degrees here. So if um, our line of sight is 12 feet and our distance from one another horizontally is 10 feet, this would be a 90 degree angle here. How tall am I from here to my eyes? Now, you're not going to get an accurate representation of how actually tall I am. We're just going to find what X is. Um, this is not a super, this is not a perfect example of real life because uh, you're going to find that I'm way taller here than I actually am, but that's okay. I want to know what is X equal, approximately, and I also want to know the angle of elevation. It's approximately, all right. So um, go ahead and find what the value of X and find the angle of elevation. All right, go. Welcome back. Let's find X first. How about, can we find X first? Yeah, we can find X first. Here's one way we can find X. Here's the hypotenuse. So I say 12 squared equals 10 squared plus X squared. Um, so let's go ahead and that's a 144 equals 100 plus x squared minus 100 minus 144 equals x squared takes a square root of both sides. This time I want an approximate value so I'm not going to leave it in the radical. So I take the square root, second square root of 44 and I get about 6.6 .6 .6 feet. I am not 6.6 .6 feet tall, but it's okay. It works for our example. Now I need to know the angle of elevation. That's this right here, or the angle of depression, which is this right here. So I need to know this angle. I have the adjacent side and the hypotenuse. So adjacent and hypotenuse, that's cosine. So I want cosine, inverse cosine, of adjacent over hypotenuse, 10 over 12. And let's see what that gets me. So I'm going to go second cosine. So I have inverse cosine of 10 divided by 12. Close my parentheses. And I get approximately um, 34 degrees. Usually when we do um, approximations or um, whenever we round angles, we usually go to the nearest one. Um, so that's what I'm doing, 34 degrees. Um, we really got 33.55730, okay, so we just round to the nearest degree, usually. And that is 8-5, angles of elevation and depression. Do the homework, do a good job.